so wonderful to be able to come together with, with everyone and, and uh, you know I welcome you my name is Eric Miller I serve on your board of trustees as, as your treasurer um, you know coming out on a Saturday I know is, is, uh, is, is different but we, we're doing it looking and we're having a good turnout today we're, 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 we've got so much momentum and, and energy in our, in our unity community it's just taste it, I can feel it, you know, it's exciting, um, and Landis, I mean, you, you give us that musical consistency that is just, it's beautiful, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it, it links us together, music is the message. And y'all consistently let me know I'm appreciated, thank you very much. <laughs> us on Facebook, you know, give us a, you know, hit that like button, make some comments, you know, say, hey, Landis is looking really good, and what's up with that guy's hair, you know, and stuff like that, it's all, it's all good, there's nothing, <laughs> slept wrong last night, anyway, like, I, I tried to do a Johnny Depp, but it went in the back of my head, <laughs> of throat, so it's just, I've got to work on that a little bit. <laughs> If anyone knows a good bar, appreciate it. Um, do we have any uh, newcomers in the audience this time? We do, yeah, hi. Um, we have a little welcome packet for you, um, just to give a little bit of information about Unity and, and who we are. Um, we're honored to have you here with us, and Keith, are you gonna? Oh, she did over here, sorry. Um, so there's a paper on the back of the offering basket you can fill out if you want to you know, be on our mailing list. Penny does a wonderful job with our bi-weekly newsletter, finding out about events and things we have coming up. And we have a lot of exciting things coming up. But the springtime is coming. Spoiler alert, we're going to be having a drum circle and a flute circle and a banging frog circle. You know, it's going to all be a cacophony of, of bliss, hopefully, or maybe just a cacophony. You know? But everyone, warm up their hands, get that energy going. We want to this welcome you. you. Oh, no, this for you. Okay. We love you. We love you. We bless, we bless you. you. We, we appreciate, appreciate you. you. And we, we behold the Christ, Christ in you. you. That goes right. all of us. That goes all of us. We are, we are blessed. The Christ in us, the Christ in you, 
refers to that divinity, that spark of divinity, that is within us all. And we all do have the potential to do anything we want with our minds, with our bodies, and with our purpose. And when we embrace that, we can do amazing things. And that's one of the, thing, one of the things that we learned from Mae McCarthy's workshop last week. Um, no, last week, no, it was two weeks ago. Oh my last goodness, week, already. Last week. Um, yeah, uh, it's, have a celebration partner. How many people have a celebration partner? Yay, look at you guys. It's so important on those days, even when it doesn't feel like you have something to celebrate, it's so important to find, I like to find three things to be grateful for every day. And sometimes it's a challenge, you know, sometimes it's a challenge. But when we do that, it just opens the gates to more celebration and more joy in our lives. And it's so important to have a, a, a celebration partner because when those little things happen, you know, you get an A in school, you make a light at the intersection that you always get stuck at on the red light. Give thanks for that because you're going to make that light again. You're going to get another A. You're going to, you know, good things happen when we celebrate. And I remember when May was talking, she was talking about a celebration moment that she had. And for those of you who are here, she's very tiny and petite. She's jumping up and down, kicking her heels up and down and just having that little private moment of joy. And we could all feel it. We could all feel it. So imagine if you did. So I encourage all of you people that have a celebration partner, keep those partnerships together. And for those of you that don't, raise your hand and get one. Because <laughs> it's worth it. You know, you can call somebody. You can, even Laura and I, I mean, she's in sales and some of the other people in sales, she'll close a big deal and she'll come to me later in the day and go, oh, I closed that deal. So it's like, and she was, when that happened, when she got off the phone, guess what? And so I would get up and then, and it just brings more closed deals. <laughs> so I really encourage people to get comfortable with, with that idea. And speaking of comfort, now's the time to get up and greet each other with a fist bump, a namaste, a hug, whatever fits your personal space. Oh, <laughs> 
lead to our destiny. And when we're connected to that, seven days a week, instead of just one day a week where we go and oh, we hear a message and we get absolved of our sins, and it's like, wait a minute, I sin? When did, when did I sin? Why do I need it? New thought requires a little more commitment, a little more self-exploration, a little more discovery, right? We're answering some of those big questions. What is my relationship to the universe. So what's my relationship to the people around me? And am I, what am I responsible for bringing in? That person wronged me. 
Did they? Or did you just step in front of a truck? You know? Maybe somebody had their own thing that was going on, and we get in the way, we try to correct them or help them, something like that. But sometimes we just need to get out of each other's way so that we can come together and bond as a group, because we're all different. We're all different, we all bring our different skills and achievements and, and vitality into any group. Every door we walk through is an opportunity. And whenever we need to reset, like if we, hmm, I didn't enter the room, I didn't, I tripped when I came in that room, I said the wrong thing. Go back out through the door. Walk through that door again, re-enter. Re-enter your life again. Re-enter your day-to-day -day life. We have that potential if we remember it. It's like what May was talking about, remembering what we remember that we forgot. You know? Because a lot of this divine wisdom, what's divine wisdom? What's the spark of Christ in us? That stuff's already there. Some of us like the idea of we were up floating on a cloud X number of years ago for all of us, approximately uh, about 39 years, 35, 39 <laughs> years ago, most of us. Um, and we decided to come here. We decided to come down off that cloud and have a human experience as an eternal spiritual being. Remember that you made that choice. Don't always have to remember why you made that choice. That's a biggie. <laughs> That's a biggie wrestling that one to the ground. But we discover that by our day-to-day -day practices. One of the things that I've gotten so much out of I really, I really see volunteering as, a, as the best and easiest two-way street of life. Because for me, and I think anybody, a lot of sociological studies and, and health studies have shown, we get more out of volunteering, out of being part of a group, having a shared cause with other people, than we do isolated and by ourselves and with our own thoughts. Being able to share with other people as you're setting up a table or maybe gardening in the future, something like that, um, doing the beautification committee, whatever, whatever that is, that mutual shared experience helps us reduce our stress. And it's been proven that the reason that happens is it reprograms our brain away from those regular things that we tell ourselves, that little chatter that's in the back of our head. When we disengage from ourselves and help others, we reprogram our brains away from us and into, so we get that, we get that feedback back more than we get because the time that we spend volunteering, we echo that serotonin, that, God, good job, thanks a lot, you know, that was great. That's fun to hear. That's fun to hear. And when we put ourselves out there and we get that kind of feedback back, it makes us stronger. Health studies have shown that emotions like joy and optimism actually make us lighter, makes us, makes us physically lighter. And chemically, it improves our immune systems. So all the free radicals in our bodies that are running around starting to sabotage us sometimes when, we, when we're centered, we're in, when we're in that universal love, divine love, centered space, that core where there, you meditate and, and see the, the white light or the golden light, whatever it is, whatever works for you, that is a nurturing experience. And that nurture helps us healthy, at be healthy, have healthy bodies. So, I know volunteering isn't for everybody. Not everybody has the time, not everybody has the inclination. And I'm in no way trying to badger people into volunteering. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is, is talk about some of the benefits. And, and we've all pitched in. I, I, I'm not talking to anybody here. I look around the room and everybody has, has contributed and does contribute on a regular basis to our little community on a regular basis. And we all do it in our own special neat ways. But that's 
what makes us strong as a community. Because together, we are Unity of Chattanooga. Unity of Chattanooga is not one person. It's not one idea. It's our community. And it's what we make of our community. So that's an opportunity, right? It's a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. Because we're going to be talking about that at the, at the annual meeting. Um, spoiler alert, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We're doing great. We have a lot of momentum. We, so there you go. I still encourage you to stick around for the annual meeting because there's, there's going to be a couple other details that I think are going to blow your mind. But that momentum <clears throat> is communal. It's, it's, it's a joint effort that we're all contributing to in one way or the other. And we're all getting something back from it. Or I hope we're all getting something back from it. Um, that was page one. <laughs> um, I, I was going to share about our experience coming here um, and how Laura and I, 18 months ago, moved here from Las Vegas. We only knew our realtor and her husband, and they only had to be nice to us until our check cleared. <laughs> we knew an uh, ex-girlfriend of Laura's brother who honestly is likes gardening more than she likes other people. And a few of you that we met when we visited here three months before we moved in March of 2022. And, you know, I just gotta shout out a couple of people, Mona and Gino, Keith and Laura, Amanda and Steve Landis, Shannon who was here, I had a great talk with him, and Penny and Reverend Doug. You all make a great impression, you all make a great first impression. <laughs> you all make, make a great first impression because we ended up moving, we knew we were moving here three months ago, or three months before we, we came to that service in March of 22, but it made us feel like we had a home. Because when we got here and our check cleared, we couldn't afford to buy another house. And, and so we lost those friends. And gardening, gardening, if any of you, for those of you who have been to our house, you know that gardening is not really Laura and my wheelhouse. <laughs> we've got um, we've got some gardening issues. Uh, and, and three thumbs so we had you guys, and so we dove in. We dove in, and we just pitched in where we felt like we could help. I got involved in the video streaming with Shannon and learning that <clears throat> Laura loved the idea of of having a communal meal together after the service. So she started bringing a. a a dish, not just on the potluck days, but every week, so that there'd be one more reason for people to stay behind, stick around, and share a meal together. <clears throat> and now, 18 months later, she's running the video streaming services. <laughs> I'm on the board, and we're happy as pie. We are happy as pie. We, we, we love being with you guys. We love sharing the ideas our books, our favorite books, our favorite authors. You know, we've gotten into some heavy discussions about conflict management and health mastery, health and wellness mastery. You know, we've done a lot in 18 months. And it's because of you guys. And it's because we got in, this was the community we wanted. It was one of the reasons, one of the things we, it was funny, we were on the Sangha this morning uh, May wasn't able to join us, but Don was, was on there, and he was talking about how they gave up alcohol last year because they were having some health issues and they tried everything, and finally they like, well, you know what? The one thing we haven't done is to try to stop drinking because they were like us. They were very social drinkers. They'd go play golf, a couple beers afterwards in the clubhouse. They'd go over to a friend's house. It's like, oh, dinner's not ready yet. You want a glass of wine? And, and that leads to, and that was our whole, we were in wine clubs in Las Vegas, where literally we were going to wineries together, and there were some people, it's like, oh, last time we did eight wineries in a day, let's try to do ten, you know, this time, and it's just like, we are wiped, and then going to dinner after that, which is, you know, and it's just like, wait a minute, this is, there's better use, we decided that there was better use of our time, and we came here and found you guys. 
And it's just been such an honor to work with you and be of service. You know, I'm, it's, yeah, we do these things, but it's a two-way street. We're getting back more. That we have, we've met so many wonderful people and being inspired by the spirit groups. Pedro is like, oh, you've done a spirit group before? You want to host one? So last spring, Laura and I hosted, I think so far the only in person, or there's been two in person? Just one. And we're talking about doing it again this spring. <clears throat> um, just to get, just to meet you guys and have that shared experience. And, you know, that Phaedra's bringing that, she brought all that organizational skill of setting up and what a spirit group is and how to run it and the guy, that's made us all stronger. So I just, I'm kind of, just want to reiterate that <coughs> volunteering is a choice. We're all the CEO of our own lives. And we individually, you collectively, are the CEO of your own life. And you 100% have the decision what you're gonna do with your time. So again, I'm not trying to guilt anyone into volunteering because we have a host of volunteers. It's, it's not anything like that. What I'm trying to do is just encourage that field of energy, that field of energy that brings us together and gets stronger and stronger. Look at how far we've come in a year. I mean, no one person did that. We did that collectively. So we all deserve a pat on the back. We're going to be singling out some volunteers um, today, a little bit later, just because Kelly only ordered a few t-shirts. He didn't order t-shirts for everybody. So <laughs> and talk to him if you want a t-shirt. Or another idea is talk to some of the department, the committee leaders, about getting involved. So you can get up here next year and have your two minutes of fame, or four minutes of fame. Uh, I think that's, that's all I'm, I'm gonna really say about that. The cool part is that we feel special. Laura and I, I'm speaking for her, but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say for myself, but I know because I've, I've had this talk with her, we feel special by being here with you all. But the fact is, we're not special. Because we're all special. Mm -hmm. Together we're all special. So that's a cool feeling. And, and I think it's important to remember that just that, that collective energy is something that you can tap into and take away with you. Just like we do with our talks sometimes. Somebody will get up here and talk on, say something on a Saturday or a Sunday, and the following Wednesday, the following Thursday, it's still echoing in our heads. Or it gives us something to look forward to. Like Laura's like, oh, I can't wait to do the video streaming tomorrow. I wish Saturday we did. You know, I mean, that kind of enthusiasm, you can't, you can't find it. You know, you can't manufacture it. It's just, <laughs> yay Laura, exactly. Yay, uh, Okay, so I just want to personally take this opportunity to extend this this year. Thank you to all of our volunteers, past, present, and future. And thank you, well, Unity of Chattanooga, for welcoming Laura and I into your home, giving us this spiritual home, and the opportunity to be of service. So thank you. Namaste. I now invite my fellow board member and newest close personal friend, Kelly Thompson to come up and, and do the introductions. Well, good morning. Good morning. I'm going to try to stand really close to this mic because I mumble a lot. I want you to be able to hear me this morning. Well, my name is Kelly Thompson, and I serve as vice president on the board of trustees. And uh, like Eric said, we are here to uh, recognize and appreciate, show some love to our, <laughs> show some love to our uh, volunteers. So, uh, just you know, a quick uh, a quick overview of uh, our volunteer groups. Um, <coughs> we have our spirit groups, like uh, 
Rick was talking about, those are so important. You know, small groups are really what make a church cohesive. It, it really brings people together in those little groups, and we learn together and we fellowship, and we just have such a great time. So we really appreciate all of those that are willing to host and um, be a part of that. Um, and, and I don't mind shaming you guys or, uh, you know, driving <laughs> or cajoling. You know, that, Eric's a little... A little shy about that. <laughs> so, um, we also want to uh, recognize our prayer chaplains. What a what an amazing service you guys provide. It's it's just so important. I mean, what's more important than prayer? Huh? And we all need it. Uh, you know, if we're not practicing, we we need to be recipients, right? So, our our prayer chaplains are, are so important. And, you know, the people that come in here early and, and help volunteer to set up and to break down and to bring food, um, you know, there's just so much that goes on behind the scenes that we, we really, a lot of us don't see. And, and those people are, are so vital and so important to us. Um, our AV team, which consists of what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, man, Sorry, man. I got booted. <laughs> And Eric, Eva, Eva. Tony. and Eva Tony and Tony, the they, yeah. they all do such a great job uh, yeah. with that. And, 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 and everybody is always, so, and Steve, we're, we're all, they're always so willing to, to jump in and, and, and help out. It's, it's just amazing how, how people are coming together. Um, so what we want to do is we want to call up some of the uh, uh, folks that uh, have spearheaded some of these and, and let them say a few words. Sabah, if you would come up and I know she has a team that she wants to bring. Um, uh, so it's been almost a year since we launched Spirit Groups. That was in Easter 2023. And um, I'd like to recognize everyone who hosted and facilitated a spirit group in 2023. And if you would mind standing, we'll please stand and be recognized. Laura and Eric, Eric Miller. Um, additionally, within each of the five spirit groups that we um, had, Volunteers were sought within the group to open and close each meeting with prayer, coordinate social, the group social event, coordinate the group community service project, be the timekeeper, and coordinate member care and support. So Spirit Groups is trying to grow some volunteer skills too. But so if if you participated as a volunteer within the group, carrying out those group roles, if you would stand and be recognized. You didn't recognize yourself for being a group. I know, exactly, yeah. That's what I was going to say. If you have participated volunteering within the group, if you'll please stand. Thank you so much. feel more connected to the people that I've been in spirit group with than ever before the members here at Union Chattanooga. I live a good distance away and I know that I'm not alone. There are several other people and being able to have an online spirit group has helped most of us manage our day-to-day -day life and be able to work in a small group at the same time. And I appreciate so much being able to have that connection even though I live a little bit further away. And I'm grateful that Laura and Eric did an in-person group because there's just not really a, there's not a good replacement for in-person group. I really appreciate y'all for doing that. And of course I want to encourage other people who might come on and 
you know, they changed the new host training for spirit groups. It's shorter, it's quicker, it's more fun. So I'd like to have some more new hosts. Maybe we could have some additional groups going. And that just leaves me. One last thing to say is to express my thanks to the Board of Trustees for their support of spirit groups. Uh, the board helps us financially by paying for the training materials that we need for spirit groups and for helping us with the spiritual self-assessments for each participant, uh, paying for those copies to be made and the manuals to be printed and bound, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that support from the board. Thank you. Next, we'd like to recognize our prayer chaplains. So, Keith, if you would come up, please. Hi, I'm Keith Millis. Uh, I wanted to recognize the ch prayer chaplains today. And a few years, well, way back when I first started, we had a much more dynamic prayer booth at the end of church. People would come to one of the prayer chaplains who wear these shawls, and I want to introduce Lynn Chartier and Margaret Baxter. I'd like to reinitiate that at the end of the service. If anybody has any need for anything, we are here to pray with you. If you see us with a shawl, Carol Guest is not here today, she's also a prayer chaplain. And it's just it's a way to connect with us and with your divine self and try to resolve some issues for yourself. And I would just love it to see that come back and people use it much more. Thank you very much. Next, we want to recognize everybody that uh, works behind the scenes on the roof tear uh, tear down and set up Miss Penny if you'd come up here chapter on religion and so she asked the children to bring in something from the religions that they practiced and the little Catholic girl brought in her rosary beads and the little Jewish boy brought in his menorah and the little unity girl brought in a tray of cookies <laughs> <laughs> but in all honesty um, fellowship does not magically appear and it takes a lot more than just a tray of cookies so I wanted to acknowledge specifically the men who have stepped up in Terry's absence to make sure that everything gets set up and taken down each week. Hold your applause. Keith Noyes, Tony Carter, Steve Adamson, and John Shatir. And as Eric said earlier, even though we have a once a month potluck, every week when we go out there, it looks like it's potluck month Sunday or Saturday or whatever it is. <laughs> and that's because we have a dedicated group of women who bring in a dish every single week. And I wanted to acknowledge 
Amanda Adamson, Laura Miller, Laura Noyes, Lynn Chartier, Laura Hastings, and Kelly's mom, Susan Haney. time is one of the things that makes Unity of Chattanooga so special. And there's nothing that makes me happier when we all sit down afterwards, just like we're gathering for a Sunday night family meal. So I want to thank all of you who fill our bellies with good food and fill our hearts with love and gratitude. Thank you. Alright, so we have, I want to show you guys Volunteers, this is the uh, bribing section of our <laughs> presentation. <laughs> For our volunteers, we did these uh, nice little polos. And so, if you want to volunteer, guess what? You, you might get a polo. <laughs> Depends on your uh, level of performance. <laughs> I do not have a list of who's is who's, so don't get mad at me. We'll uh, fight over them after the service, if that's okay with you guys. Uh, but we want to recognize our uh, AV team. Um, and that is, uh, well, that's Laura. And Laura. No, Eva. And Eva. And, and Tony. Tony. And Eric. <laughs> and Eric. <laughs> and Steve. And, and these are the same number, the same names we're gonna just continue. <laughs> And, and John, Charlie A. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I stepped up uh, So if you guys would come up, I'd like to get Steve to say a couple of things about AV. Go ahead. Go up. All of us? Yeah. Come on up. Not, uh, no, it doesn't come out yet. Oh, not yet? Why not? I don't know. Maybe just what are we doing? Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, church family. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been two and a half years uh, since my wife, Willie, and I came out to the River Park uh, for the first in-person service uh, since the pandemic. And uh, hey, we, were, we were blessed. You know, it was a, it was a great time. Uh, you know, that Reverend Doug and Faye and I believe Sean O'Shea might have been the, the first one to actually do the service. Uh, but it, all that being said is, uh, you know, it was, I, re I recognize an opportunity to, to be able to volunteer and to help out with the, the sound uh, system. And, and it was, a, you know, an opportunity to get plugged in and meet all of you. Um, you know, it, it's, it's echo, to echo what Eric said, you know, I was blessed a lot more than maybe how I blessed others. Uh, it was an opportunity to use skill set that I was familiar with from being an amateur musician and, uh, and just to be able to participate in, in the behind the scenes kind of things. And, and it's really awesome. So I, I want to encourage anybody to volunteer in any way. You know, you can, you can recognize opportunities of, 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 you know, that are out there. And at the same time, you can push yourself out of your comfort zone, learn something new. Uh, there are definitely people here that will show you, you know, what, what the need is and, and how to fill that need. Um, so it's, it's just been a great, to grow, make new friends, um, you know, and, and, and to be plugged in. And that's what I want to encourage you, just plug in, find a, an opportunity to, to serve and to be, you know, it's already, it's already, you're already part of the family, but it, when we serve each other, uh, I think that the blessings just multiply, you know, and it's a, it's a, it's a good way to, to, to be connected um, at, at the same time, uh, an opportunity, opportunity for growth. Um, I certainly, you know, love each and every one of you, and, uh, and, and enjoy what I do, and, um, and and to be flexible, you know, do something that does push me out of my comfort zone occasionally, and that's a great thing. Um, you know, uh, I can you know, I, I talk a lot, but uh, to go on about um, you know this church has been an exciting time to see it grow, you know, and, and the numbers of people that that have come, the people that are watching online. Um, you know, that's, that's a, a great thing. There's a lot of 
really cool things coming in our immediate future too. So I, I just encourage you to be a part of that. Find a way to participate and uh, you know just, just help each other. Um, to echo the words with the words of Paul Blart, help someone today. So and helping helps yourself. It certainly does. I say it's definitely made me feel more connected to each and every one of you. And uh, and just it's, it's a it's a wonderful thing. So by all means open your heart to being a volunteer and, and just find a way to, to help out here in the church. That's all I got. Thank you. Can all our A V and sounds people stand up for me? Tony? Joan? I know Eva can't be here today. Thank you guys so much for being here and being willing to step in, you know, when you're needed. It's it's just such a great thing. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Um, well, we have actually a Volunteer of the Year award. Also, um, do we have the envelope? The envelope, please. I don't dance. Sorry. Laura, maybe you want to say a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. So, no. I was on the roster too yeah. for it. Laura <laughs> <laughs> does such a great job for us. Yeah, let's oh, let's go, go, we'll go out. Okay. Yeah. Come on up here. Laura. Okay. Laura does such a great job for us. That she's really stepped up and, and done a wonderful job with her AV. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be recruiting, right? So, yeah, what am I going to do? Back to this way? Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, so if anybody wants to help with the video, it's really easy, and I would sit with you and show you how to do it, and you could sit with me for a few times, and it doesn't take a lot of technical knowledge, and I would say, can you smile anymore? <laughs> 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 Is that good? I said, say it's fun. Say it's fun. Oh, sorry. Yes, and it's fun. <laughs> and I think it's a, I think there's a lot of people that can't be here in person, so I really do feel like it's important. Anyway, thank you for all the volunteers. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. And it is fun, right? Fun. Yes. Fun. Yes. It's fun stuff. It's always fun to volunteer because we have such a great group. We, you know, we really enjoy each other. Yeah. Yeah. Smell that sauce. So I know this is going to come as a huge shock to everybody who our, uh, who our Volunteer of the Year is, but it's, it's Terry Loveless, of course. Mm -hmm. Terry is just always there to help out and do anything that, that needs to be done in the church, and, and he was just he's just such a great guy, mm -hmm. just such a wonderful spirit, and he's also a prayer champion. So um, we just want to make sure that uh, we keep him in our thoughts and prayers, and we see him as whole and healed. And that uh, you know he's going to be back in here doing exactly what he was doing before, uh, you know probably more. He's going to feel great. So, Miss Dean, would you come up and, and just accept this? Since uh, he's not able to do that. Do you want to mention the, the GoFundMe page? The, the GoFundMe page for Terry? Yes, yes. Now, uh, keep in mind, we do have a uh, GoFundMe page um, for Terry. Is there a... It's not on here. It's not on here. Okay. Uh, it's not... It can't be hard to find Terry Loveless. Uh, you just go to GoFundMe and, and look up his name. Uh, we also have a donation box for him. Uh, the box that we normally use for the building fund today is going to go all to Terry. So if you have an extra 10 or a 20 in your pocket, pop it in. We'll pass it around during fellowship and then bring it back for the annual meeting. But you want to just give a little extra. I know they need it. Thank you. Thank you. And since I don't have the envelope right here, I'm going to present you with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and thanks for what all the care done. This would be. 500 and oh, sorry. All right. I didn't realize that I was supposed to say something. The board has decided 
that the entire tithe of uh, $522 from the month of January will be going to Terry's GoFundMe page. <laughs> Sunday, so uh, bring your favorite dish to share with everybody afterwards. We know you're awesome cooks in here, so bring whatever you want. Uh, on the following Tuesday, which is February 27th, Keith and Laura will be presenting uh, an evening of Ch uh, Chagong at 6.30 here downstairs in the classroom. So keep those in mind. Make sure you join us for that. So let's all stand and sing our music.
Thank you.